Today, we're going to do a wall conquest. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. And we're gonna do it as France. Because you wanted me to play this nation for a while now. And I haven't played this nation in a while now. So <laughs> let's go in blindly and see how this works. And yes, at the end of this video, I will control every province in this world. Let the suffering begin. Okay, we'll need a different ideology. So let's revive the national block. Step number two. Even though we have a good amount of civilian factories, we will need way more military ones because eight <coughs> mills will not be enough to get this done. So let's build a lot. And I don't plan on losing any land, so I will build it everywhere I can. Good. These mills I will just put into artillery and guns for now because I will build seven twos and they will do an amazing job. Research-wise, I will do the usual, which means that I will start with industry and technology and then later on we go into Air Force because this game is unplayable without an Air Force. I also set myself another challenge, which is to not put on day-night cycle while playing this video game. I don't like day night cycle either, but for some reason I always hit the end key. I should see the remilitarization of the Rhineland. I don't want to go to war and start a civil war at the same time, so I'm just gonna complain about it. Wow. The next big thing I want to do to avoid a civil war is ban communism. Be gone. Public demands rearmament. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> I, I, I don't complain. Makes it way less expensive to build those mills, so yeah, sure. So, now that we have gotten rid of communism, we will utilize the leaks and start a nationalist movement to rally our people. Let's go. The time has come to revise the constitution and make France a stable nation again. Because I just see it. Here the training. Extra experience for terrain trades. That seems pretty strong. I want to find out how good it is. Let's take it. While the constitution is being revised, which apparently takes a year, I will try to rearm our nation and fix our economy. Let's see how well that goes. Okay, I have a master plan. Spain requests aid. I don't want to help them because I'm not communist, right? But gaining communist support will mean that it will turn into non-aligned support because we have banned communism. So by taking this, I will gain non-aligned support without actually needing to do anything. I will try it out. Let's go. Yep, it works. <laughs> We're gaining a lot of non-aligned support and nearly no democratic support back. This is so good. The rearmament has begun. So now let's try to fix our economy. The world is becoming a dangerous place. So let's reform our army to something strong. 7-2 division. I will never change my mind about it. It still works. Shut up. I'm kind of missing a little bit of artillery now, though. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, my God. The industry focus makes this a lot cheaper. So in the year 1937, I can research 1939 tech like it's nothing. I'm going to do that. You know what? We don't need a radio. I need a construction industry. Let's go. Oh, Turkey wants some land. No. It's a world conquest. I'm not going to give land, okay? As much as I love relief of command, I feel like for the beginning, tip of the spear with an extra capacity for naval invasions would be really strong. So I'm going to go with that. And logistical focus also seems very strong. Let's go. The constitution has been revised. Now let's repeal the law of exile, giving us nice political power and even better, removes this joint government, which is a horrible modifier. Let's go. The law has been repealed. Now let's proclaim the Third Empire. This gives us Napoleon VI as a leader for the Non-Aligned Party. The Non-Aligned Party will be known as... No, I'm not gonna say that. Politics will change to Non-Aligned becoming the ruling party. No public elections will be held. And most importantly, France will be known as France. The Third Empire has been proclaimed, giving us this beautiful Napoleon VI. He looks pretty smooth. Uh, I'm already looking forward to making a thumbnail on that one. And now let's finally have some fun. Avenge Waterloo, giving us a war goal on three nations. I kind of feel bad for Belgium, not gonna lie. <laughs> they have done nothing wrong, but I have to avenge Waterloo so hard, they just have to stop existing. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I just misclicked and maybe said I will help Czechoslovakia in a Sudeten crisis. Um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. We're just gonna pretend I didn't do this and let F Germany the fun over here. While this is going on, I will just go into Belgium. Oh no! Belgium has capitulated. And now let's continue to walk into the Netherlands. Yeah, that was um, also very fast. I'm gonna take everything directly because I wanna have the resources. That's it. I just wanna have the resources. So while this is going on, I will start building an air force and take over Britain. And because you might have noticed, I prepared a little surprise for the English. Yeah, <laughs> boy. The order to land is given. And yes, it went out. Yeah, this should be easy now. For the sole reason that all the British soldiers are not in Britain. 
Yeah, I feel like we've all run them. <laughs> I'm just playing this at five speed now. Oh, they're completely gone. Britain has capitulated. And I have a very specific peace treaty in mind for them. I will take all of the British mainland, because they have good industry in there. I will puppet all the British non-mainland. I will directly take over all of the colonies. And I will steal the navy. But I feel like we have someone else to take care of now. So let's do that. And the Germans are still stuck with Czechoslovakia. Oh, that's so good. Now, after way too much time, I can finally take my fourth research slot. So I'm going to risk it. Manpower-wise, it ain't looking good. But I feel like I can fix this with a little adjustment in my garrison law. <laughs> I don't know why they always return to this. It's I shouldn't do that. But no garrison. Out of nowhere, we have a lot of manpower now. It is crazy. So let's join the war with the Czechs and give Germany hell. So far, so good. Uh, that's not good. Oh, I increased recruitment law and they didn't like that. This is fine. Ah, the Soviets finished their war against Poland and now they decided they want to fight Germany, but not directly. <laughs> They're sending me 12 volunteers. You know what? Thank you, Soviets. I appreciate your gift of support. And I think I've sunk the German Navy too. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good. Sadly, I can't steal it anymore because it doesn't exist. Finally, the army reform is done. I can actually do stuff with my military now. And what I need to fix next is my recruitment. Because, oh my God, is this bad? And yes, I went with Air Force and it paid out amazingly. Just to show you the cast damage I'm doing to the Germans, they have basically no equipment left. So I just let them rush at the moment and then I will just go in and let them collapse because they don't have a lot left. But before I do that, I will do my doctrines. I feel like I'm actually going for assault. It looks good. Overwhelming fire, max planning, breakthrough. That's what I need. So we have guns again. The Germans are very weak and Czechoslovakia is not looking as good anymore. So you know what? I feel like the time to attack has come. Let's go. Oh my god, the cast damage we're doing to the Germans is... <laughs> What is that? I find it very hard to choose between those two because over here you get a lot of compliance but I feel like we will get compliance over time anyways and I'd rather just get rid of worker shortage. I really hate when you can't get rid of negative modifiers and having that one is really bad. Oh, and we just <laughs> we just connected with Czechoslovakia so let's go. Oh, that looks wild. Yeah, I, I think we got this. I have this feeling. I have this small feeling we got this. We are even in Italy now. So, yeah. And Berlin has fallen. Germans are very close to giving up now. Good. Hey, Germany has capitulated. Let's go. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm surprised I haven't deposed of Mussolini yet. And Rome has fallen. And Italy capitulated immediately. <laughs> okay, that should be that war over. Hungary is a great power now. Oh, I'm so sorry. How could I have not seen that coming? Uh, and the war is over. That was unironically hard. There's not much navy left to take, I'm gonna be honest, but I will take what I can. So I'm gonna take all of this, confirm an exit. I didn't meant to give Northern Italy to Czechoslovakia. <laughs> oh no. I will kick him out of the faction now, because I have to an exit anyways. And because I've never done it, and I will probably regret it, let's disunite Germany. Uh, Kingdom of Prussia, Saxony, Bavaria. Ah oh, yeah, this is very much a disunited Germany. At the same time, kind of cool. And they have industrial focuses, so they will give me industry. Nice. The army doctrines are done now. And at the same time, I will declare war on the US. Let's pray that this works. Yeah, for now, we are actually melting them. That is good. They're also a bit busy with Japan right now, so I do imagine we should get this done in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> oh my god, what is that gas? <laughs> okay, that's actually crazy. I wouldn't have thought it would go this well, because we're already in Boston, and that means we have a supply hub. That is good. Their air force is dying so fast. And we're in New York now. Okay, I thought this war would be as hard as the German one. I was wrong. The only hard thing for me now is to see which blue is his blue and which blue is my blue. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's as confusing for them as it's for me, because they are disorganized. That's what I talked about. You know, the front line doesn't follow one time, and I have no idea that this is not my land. Ah, yes. So while we're still having fun in the United States, let's go and clean up Europe. Oh, yeah, I knew the Japanese would do this at some point. So I have a small military force over here. Finally, Czechoslovakia capitulated. Let's go. Why am I fighting the US over here? <laughs> <laughs> it is to fight the Japanese, not the US ships. I'm also sinking US convoys. Ah, yeah. Oh my god, finally. I can basically take everything because I have so much points and the Japanese just did nothing. And yeah, I just took everything. Why not? And yes, everything does include the Navy. Spain, 
capitulated. And now to the final focus that will give us even more manpower. I mean, once you fix your manpower problem with France, you just get bombarded with manpower. It is crazy. As crazy as this navy being gone now. <laughs> what is... <laughs> But just in case, let's go down this path. You know, you, you never know. And now we are officially back in business. You never guess where I'm naval invading. Japan. I could storm down the Japanese now, but I would love for them to capitulate China. So I'm gonna wait a bit longer. Maybe they're able to do it. This would save me a lot of trouble. So many armies now have to promote leaders. Ugh, desperate times for the French army. It's too big. I'm afraid that so many Japanese soldiers came over here to fight this and lose equipment because of it. That they can't take the last two cities they need to to capitulate China. I really hope that's not the case. And let's go into China. If the Japanese are too weak to capitulate them, I, I just do it myself. Russia integrated. Oh my god, finally. China is out of the picture. So, Japan took everything, and it should make all of this a lot easier. That is a nice pocket. Be gone. So, Japan has capitulated, but China became a great power again. At the moment, they have basically no army, and we're only fighting the rest of the Japanese that's still over there. Uh, wall conquests are fun. And let's start the French tank program. Better late than never. I'm gonna build so many of these at once now. Goodbye, Switzerland. This is where the fun begins. Ah, yes. Biplane. Oh my god. Finally. Let me just take everything. This looks pretty good. Oh, I can do this. French alliance. No. NATO. I don't know what to say now, but China is in NATO. That's something else. And now let's start the final big war. Push. I'm gonna be honest. This is very cursed to look at. Oh my god. Oh, finally. All mine. Hey. I just got an achievement. How about that? <laughs> Goodbye, Greece. Oh my god, modern tanks are strong. <laughs> just did you see how strong they are, okay? <laughs> the game wants me to tell it's over, but it's sadly not over. <laughs> the moment you think, hey, I'm done. And then you remember the Americas exist. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is the race for the bomb thing with a Brazil flag? <laughs> Sure, why not? I already have 125 nuclear bombs, but you know what? Let's race the Brazilians to the bomb. My war goals against Colombia and Venezuela are done. So I prepared a little bit of an invasion force to enter South America. <laughs> you know, nothing too big, just multiple full tank battalions supported by a few fighter jets and 185 nuclear bombs. You know, your casual arsenal of liberation. And I thought, you know, why not? Sometimes you need a little bit of boom to introduce yourself. Ah, oh, thank you, Venezuela. Let's just say I'm not meeting much resistance anymore. Guys, we're going to Brazil. <laughs> Let's go. I want to see how much my modern tanks melt through this. Because <laughs> it is the last independent nation. Brazil. Oh my god. <laughs> it's finally over. The suffering. <laughs> Just that you understand how long this took. Look at the date. Now imagine my mental health. The French Empire controls everything. Justice proof. Country list. Only me. This was horrible and I never want to do this again. Anyways, if we hit 10,000 subs, I will play the UK and do this again. And along the way, we'll form the European Union. Because yes, you heard me right. As the UK, you can form the European Union on a very specific path that you will probably not guess. Until next time, bye. And no, I will not do this.